hello everyone welcome back to BISP YouTube series in this tutorial I will be going to demonstrate you how to add an image in in an any object by using a visual force page the scenario behind this is usually whenever we create a new contact or a new account or a new lead so we don't have any option to upload an image or to add an image or a profile image of that particular user or that contact so by using a visual force page we can provide a separate section where we can provide an option to a user so that the user can upload an image on account or contact records so for this we'll be going to take help of epics and visual force pages and later on we'll be going to add that visual force page into our account or contact layout section so let's move on to salesforce and we'll be going to create a visual force page so let's create a visual force page here so to create a visual force page i'm going to create uh, epics slash and add image on contact so i'm going to give a section i'm going to provide a section on contact like we have various contacts so i'm going to provide a section on the contact and when by using that section user will be able to upload an image on that particular contact so as you can see here we have this contact so I have opened that contact and in, in this contact we have fields for getting the name, home phone, mobile and other things but we don't have any option for uploading an image or to add a profile image to this particular contact. So I'm going to set up by using a visual force page. So let's create a visual force page and through code we'll be going to achieve this. So I First of all, I add a standard controller because this page, this Visual Force page will be going to inherit the feature from this contact object, from this standard object. And also I would like to implement the functionality of an Apex class in this particular Visual Force page. So there was, that's why I'm going to add an extension. And I add an extension, add image to contact. And I remove the default code and here I write apex colon form apex colon page block I add a mode mode is equal to main detail within this page block I add apex colon page block section and in this section I add apex colon page block section item and here apex colon image value is equal to servlet slash servlet dot file download image id rendered not is blank so basically this section is used or this particular page block section item is used to display the current uploaded image by the user or the latest uploaded image by the user then I'm going to add a new page block section item so apex colon page block section item another section item and then I write here apex colon output label I add one output label and give a value to this value is equal to upload and then after this output label I add one apex colon output panel I add one output panel here and within this output panel I'm going to get the data from the user so I write here input file input file ID is equal to so ID is equal to upload file and value is equal to value is equal to att dot body basically this att will be an instance of an attribute which will be going to define in apex class 
file name is equal to att dot name and then i need one button so i write here apex colon command button i add one button here value is equal to upload and action is equal to add an action upload image output panel close page block section item close page block selection so this is okay now when i save it i'll get an error message because this con this extension does not exist add image to contact extension does not exist okay so we are getting an error message command button apex colon command button okay this is missing Let's save it and we are getting an error message that add image to contact extension does not exist basically this will be an apex class so this does not exist so i click on this link and create an apex class and also because we are using extension along with the standard controller so we need to add a default constructor which contains the instance of this particular controller standard controller as a controller now in this first of all i am going to initialize the attachment the att attribute which we are using over there so i write here public attachment att get and set then private id parent id get and set then within this control the constructor which i have already created in this constructor i'm going to initialize both of them so i initialize att is equal to new attachment and then parent id parent id is equal to controller dot get ID. Controller dot get ID. Basically, this get ID is to get the current ID of the record where we are uploading or update uh, uploading the image. Next, I write here public void upload image function because I need to create an upload image function. This action upload image. So I'll just copy this because we are going to override this action. So I write public void upload image and here. We are going to upload an image, so I write att dot parent id is equal to parent id and att dot name is equal to image insert att and att is equal to new attachment a double new attachment. This is for final initialization so it will upload an image and now if you want because we are going to display the id in this section so we have an it is asking for image id so we need to create a function here public void get image id so write public basically it will return the id so it will not be void so return type will be id and get image id the name will be same so i copy this we need to make sure the names are same because it's a case sensitive so image id and within this image id we'll be going to call it so in this image id i mentioned here id is called if i, I initialize i create a new variable result equal to null of id type list of attachment because we are going to pull the data from the attachment and where name is called to image and parent id is called to current parent id order by created date desc why we have applied here created date dis uh, in descending order because we can upload multiple extension multiple multiple images so like in our profiles like in facebook profiles whenever we upload any new image the existing image will not remove from the database it will remain in the database only the recently uploaded image or recently updated image will be appear so in same manner it will get the recently uploaded image and set that image as a profile image and we have this image size greater than zero or it will it will return the result and this will return to this particular and now when we save and test it 
so you can see the all the errors has been gone and we got a message here upload choose file no file chosen and upload we are getting this option but we cannot use this visual force directly over here because because here we need to specify the id and from where because we are asking for parent id here we are getting the parent id and from where we can get the parent id if we are uh, uploading an image from within a contact object so what what i'm going to do is i click on contact here and in this contact i open its layout and in this layout i'm going to add a separate section for uploading an image so first of all i add a new section here so you can see we have got sections so i drag and drop this section after this before this mailing address and image section or profile image i'll go with one column okay and within this image section i'm going to add a visual force page so the visual force page which we created just now that is the add image on contact so add image on contact so i just drag and drop this visual force page into this section this image section you see we have got visual force add image on contact and i'll save it and let's test it now so you can see we are getting a section here in this image section in this particular record we are getting a section image section and options are also getting so i click on choose file so to choose the file so let's suppose i choose a file as a bisp logo and click on open and then i click on upload button so you can see here when i have clicked on upload button the image has been uploaded here successfully and if i scroll down right now you cannot see any notes and attachment associated with it but when i click on contact or refresh this page or when we get to this page again we can see the currently uploaded image as well as the attachments so you can see here now we have got the currently updated image currently uploaded image as well as we have a list of attachments this is this is a list of attachment and it's it will it will tell us that what how many images has been uploaded or how many attachments we have uploaded with this particular record so this is how we can add an image by using a visual force page or we can set a profile image by using a visual force page that's all in this video if you have any queries you can visit our website www.bisptrainings.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for videos on salesforce till then have a nice day ahead goodbye